Hello everyone, it's Mr. John from AK Dragon Fish 3D. Today, we're gonna go diving through Thingiverse looking for cool fishing stuff. And we're gonna find something and print it out. So, let's get to it. Alright, so here we are in Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a free website where people upload their 3D models to the website for other people like me to download and print. Let's dive into this thing on the topic of fishing. So, I will type fishing in the search bar. Alrighty. So, we've typed fishing in the search bar, and here's what we've come up with. We've got some swim baits and crank baits and reels. Oh my. Nail knot tool you can print. Fish grips, hopper ploppers, fishing rods, rod holders, a swim bait, easy print swim bait. Let's check this one out real quick. So, yeah, square bill crank bait. Probably split down the middle. It's not, no, this is a solid form. So, once again, you get the eyelets and screw them in to where you want the hooks to be and go from there. I've got other videos on me doing this a few years back, printing crankbait and testing crankbait. Like, I've printed this one. I have printed this one. I do have this in different colors. Some people put collections on here. This is a wire variant. So, the wire would run along the pattern creating loops throughout the bait. You can print fish and rod holders. You can print tip-ups. You can even print bobbers. I've done these. These are great. These work well, but they don't survive well in your pack long term. Spoolers, more floats, more decoration. Now this has come up quite a bit. Other people have asked me. So here's an answer. Fishing molds are possible with FDM printers. This guy printed 10% infill. Normally I print 20 to 50% infill. Headbanger. Headbanger style lure. Now I talk about this in the Dad to Dad series of fishing and safety. This is one of the many things you can print with a 3D printer. And they're treble guard hooks. I don't like this particular pattern or model, so I will find a different one. But I definitely need to print some of those. But there seems to be a pattern here of things that you can and things you cannot print on a 3D printer. Rope winder, storage for magnetic fishing, carp fishing, boiler crusher, fishing line spools, fishing lure, fishing octopus for kid toys, freshwater glide bait fishing lure. Let's see what this one looks like. Looks two part. Ah, so it's a split part. So there we go. Four parts, and then you assemble it. You got a broken handle, you can fix your handle. You need a rod holder, you can fix, you can print yourself a rod holder. Now this, I also included in the safety video in the Dad to Dad fishing series. That is a hook protector. It does just exactly what it looks like. It comes in two parts. You print it, you clip it together, you tie your knot, you unclip it, and there you go. It doesn't really work for fancier knots, say like an egg loop knot or a snell knot. However, it's a good safety tool that you can print to help you stay safe while fishing. Now this mold I have done, I have remixed, taken this model and turned it into them because I really like the ribs. This looks like a two-part version. This is definitely a two-part version. Let's see if this is a two-parter or a one-parter. This looks like a one-part fishing mold. I'm gonna grab this one too. These things are pretty popular. These propellers are pretty popular. I printed these, quite a bit of these in a variety of different colors. They work well. Alaska rivers, not so much in Alaska lakes. One company calls them the, the Cheater Special. If you go to Sportsman's around here, you'll see this. His apex lures are so easy to print. If you think about it, it's just a leaf. It's a leaf that's curved. And then you run the line this way, and then back this way, and then out. If you are a troller, this right here, it takes one to two grams, so you're paying four cents, plus your rigging, whatever rigging you're gonna do. And there you go. So there's another great idea for Apex lures. You want to see some Apex lures that I've already printed? Go back through the go back through fishing channel. Uh, go to the playlist fishing 2022, where I printed a bunch of these and used these as demonstrations for applying fishing stickers. There's another variation, the Acme fishing loop. Once again, it's it's a larger apex lure. For my older fishermen, watch the channel. It should look very familiar. We're simply printing these. Yeah, I printed mine at 20% and then hit it with two layers of polyurethane. These ones in particular, this model in particular, has just a straight shot hole all the way through. You can run, get some really 
wrong line, run it through like a line through method, or you could take some wire and twist some wire in there. Alternatively, you could print them side by side, get a split down the middle kind of thing. This is more the quick fish style than the flat fish style. You run the wire, the wire, loop, make a loop with the wire, come back up, bend the wire, and make another loop. We're gonna see how the lazy Ike made by Hobie Paolo prints out. Okay, so that's us looking at Thingiverse for fishing and fishing stuff. Uh, if you like what you see so far, do all the YouTube things. Smash the like button, subscribe, etc. We're gonna continue this video by dropping over to the printer and printing a few of these things off and see how they come out. And here we are with the mold and the first couple layers going down. So we've given it close to 40 minutes here and now we're printing the actual mold itself. So now it's just going around. There we go, we'll see what it looks like when it's done. And we're all done. So, there you go, there's the mold. It's solid, it's very solid. There you have it. And now we're printing the quick fish clone. Okay. So the quick fish clone is done. Um, my printer is a bit aged, so it tends to have some errors, like the stringing and whatnot. Then there's the underside where you run the wires and glue them together. Put a little bead in there for 